I agree. But let's move on because we're approaching the hour and a quarter mark. I'm going to completely chalk this topic because it's just kind of out there. Uh, I want to talk about content side of esports since we already hinted at that with like Optic and Minnesota being the content boys. Uh, Hunter T's doing it too. Yeah, I know. But like we already talked about earlier whenever we were talking about the superlatives that Optic and, Optic and uh, Minnesota do the same thing. But 100 Thieves is another great example. Atlanta, not organization-wise, but individual-wise, all the uh, phase guys are making their own content, which mm-hmm. is helping them. But I will say, because we already said this last time, the Atlanta phase are popular because of all the work that phase claimed did leading up to the uh, purchasing of the league spot. But basically, I, it's it's a it's a wild concept, not really parentheses. But if you give people a reason to care about you outside of what you're doing, you're immediately more popular for that reason. Like, just to throw this out there, Gary Vaynerchuk, one of the, I dare I say, he's one of the best personalities on the planet for anything. Gary V has a lot of very, a very oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm trying to. Think. He's a motivational speaker, for one. He just he's made a lot of good business decisions. He's a person you should listen to. A lot of people outside of Call of Duty know Gary Vaynerchuk, and whenever he immediately associates himself with the Minnesota Rocker, the Minnesota Rocker immediately benefit. And Gary Vaynerchuk yeah. has never done anything Call of Duty related. Mm-hmm. He's never why... done sports related. Now on the opposite side of that, why are the Dallas Empire not doing fuck all with Post Malone? Because you're not going to sit here and tell me that Post is, like, so busy to the point where he's not going to play video games. Because I guarantee that fool is playing video games every day. Why not have him and Crim6 sit down and play for 20 fucking minutes? I mean, I'm sure... That, they, that, is, that is content right there. That is, a, that that is, is content. Like, you know why? It already It's already proven to work. Because in World War II, Courage and Post Malone played together. Like, Post is willing to play the game. He plays video games probably every day because, like, he just seems like that kind of guy. Like, just have him and Krim fucking sit down and play and he's like, Post, what the fuck? <laughs> Post, you're on a fucking heady. How'd you lose the gunfight? What the fuck? What, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> like, you're not going to see, like... It, it's... Bro, the the picture that I have saved on my camera will 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 live in in my head rent free. Uh, let me let me pull it up very quickly and show it to the camera. Running through the rest of the teams. This why here. why is why are the Royal Ravens and Vicstar not making content? Why are the New York uh, subliners and the New York Mets because they have the same ownership? Fun fact, why are they not doing stuff together? Fun fact, Rocker and the Vikings have the same ownership too. I know that, but we've already talked about them and why they're uh, kind of popping off. I was just saying. No, I know. I appreciate the input. I'm just saying fun like fact. Gary Vaynerchuk greater than signed Minnesota Vikings. Fair. But, like, why is Vic Star and the Royal Ravens not making content? Why are the New York Mets and the Subliners not doing something? They did that whenever the team first signed last year. They brought the entire Subliners team out to a Mets game and gave them a bunch of free shit, a box suite, tickets to the games, etc., etc. But, like, since then, there's been fucking nothing. Whenever, oh. last year, whenever the Gorillas first, uh, first got their roster together, they went to a Rams game and Aix got to speak to the entire stadium and people were like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> But still, there was something happening. Well, I, and I think the the Atlanta phase, they went to the Brave Stadium, correct? Uh, yes, they did. That was recent. Yeah. So, I mean, every team is doing their uh, their thing. And, and we're not going to talk about Optic because I think they do it the best. So there, there's no point in... I mean, they Optic also has a cheat code by having two of the biggest esports personalities on the planet that specialize in esports. But that's a decade of hard work, like phase though. Who would be, who would those two people be? I know Scump's got to be one of them. Scump and formal. Scump and formal. Okay. And then toss Hex in there too, because Hex. I, I was, I was gonna say I was gonna say Hex and 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 Scump, but I think Scump and Form. I love the fact that Formal's now in Texas. 
because Scump and Formal together in the same room is the greatest thing to ever happen to that team. Just saying. I think Paris is doing great with their Twitter. Uh, yeah, they're doing a fantastic job. Was the last Paris. time they tweeted actually? Uh, I'm checking now. Paris is doing fantastic. Let me let me let me just let's see. What's going oh, on, Paris? Welcome back to episode five of the Memeing Paris podcast. <laughs> Hey, they, they posted five hours ago. Well, was oh, it, yes. Uh, let's see what the post Re- was. Uh, only one only. week left in season one. Will the Galil and the new enter competitive with season two? Oh, they're talking about... Uh... Okay. What are they talking about? Because I can't see the tweet. They're, they're talking about the... Uh, wait, did they did they block you? No, I'm just not looking at Twitter. Oh, uh, they're they're talking talking about, I wish they'd block me. They're talking Go about ahead, like the, the season, like the the battle pass season. Oh, I'm proud of them because that totally applies to anything I do. And then mm-hmm. after or since then, they posted one yesterday that was a picture of Wuskins and Scraps, and I think BO4 maybe. Okay, why? And it's in caption. Is that cause... Intel? Is Wuskin gonna play for the Paris region? I don't know. There's a bunch of people there. Was like, we need the twins and a bunch of other stuff. I'm gonna get someone in the community on the podcast and can explain to me why the fuck Wuskin isn't on a team. That'd be nice. That would be nice. But uh, just content, dude. Content is how you succeed, and it's starting to transition over to mainstream sports. Because I don't know, EJ probably doesn't. Zo might. I fucking hate them with all my fiber of being the current team, but the Los Angeles Dodgers, they're pushing out a metric fuck ton of content, and I'm going to be honest, I don't hate it all. I hate the current team, I hate the current ownership that the Dodgers have, but the content they're pushing out is a great way for them to stay relevant in a uh, current time where baseball is kind of meh. And they also just won a World Series that didn't count, but that doesn't, doesn't count, so... 